back, everybody. Hope everyone got themselves a nice drink, a little bathroom break. We're ready to start end game. Maybe. I'm assuming this end game. Unless there's something mysterious going on. Never, never, you whelp. Oh, dear customer, sorry you had to see that. I asked uh, Tao Hu to supply me some new goods because simple and do business with me. She had to keep posing like this, but you might try to see, make him see reason. And bring us some sand radishes. Sand radishes. Okay. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them have been quelled. Sudden isolation for wise calamity befell us, but I'm happy to see it put to an end. <clears throat> and to think peace would be restored to Sue by the land of our mysterious Bone uh, Rithborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, will be the last of the world, the, the dawn of a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Couldn't understand Wallflower. Allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget that Survey Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Huisi uh, without fear of the Pokemon around us. I guess we'll go after Arceus himself after this. Oh, that means there won't be an Alpha Arceus, though. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping potato mochi, Benny, old chub. Oh, if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Having the nobles all quelled uh, puts a great threat to rest. Now it's time to focus on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had a reservation of whether Avalog needed quelling. Um, but if it means bring calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, yeah, someone might have been under attack by some frenzy noble at this very moment if Dan hadn't come uh, falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder, just what is space-time rift anyways? And what will make it finally go? Dan, wow. Uh, wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Dan stranded here? I guess so. Uh, well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution. Uh, I've no doubt. Um, and if we don't, you always have home here in Jubilee Village, Dan. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day work, Survey Corps. Don't forget, we've got our sights on unless a Queen of Pokédex. That's right, we'll get it done, Dan, and the lead, um, and me as Valent Assistant. Come on, Nakari, don't say to start your full-fledged member of the survey, uh, core two. Here's not the player, so you can't be too important. Well, thanks for that, Professor. But I guess I'd better eat my film and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow.
Bakum. Disaster looming. I know. Di Din hype. Kaboom. Boom. Disaster looming. Something exploded. And that did not sound good. All right, let's do everything in here. And then let's go find out what the hell made that noise. The sky's all red. Dan. Oh, it got bigger. Uh oh. That's probably not a good thing. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. You're to report his office at once. Hmm. The way the sky has changed, it's ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, commander? This game's about $60. You did call us here to discuss the quelling of the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There must be more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lighting. Lightning, this one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Dan fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events must be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Dan? A Survey Corps member? Indeed, you've done all I ordered. But that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the Rift as the Lightning. You're catching these frenzies, are you not? Do you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you got yourself bought out? And having gained our trust, then what? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Dan has wronged us. Exactly. Besides, do you really think he's the sort of per fearsome power it would take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee who he said he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How's anyone supposed to prove the absence of it all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What if Dan's supposed to do that? He'll be, get, be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of Gla Galaxy Team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I, I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in Galaxy Team. <gasps> Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain these calamities. Keep befalling a good people. No, until you restored our world to its rightful state, proving your innocence beyond a doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Dan? Do not attempt to interfere feed on his behalf. I will do what I must as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds or the unusual skill you've displayed. 
That's why I've chosen you to let you walk out of here free, rather than clap you in chains. Why is he such a dick? Just because I didn't live here originally, you're gonna, like, persecute me for that? Like, what? I've come here to your world and fixed everything and contributed so many things, but just because I wasn't originally from here, you think that I'm, like, evil? You backwater piece of crap? Jeez. Like, I've done, I've done everything for this village. And just because this scary thing he can't explain happens, it's gotta be my fault. Jeez. You're to be expelled from this village? What, why? Orders are orders. Yeah, that is. I wanna go back to my world, this is crap. This, no, I'm, I'm running for it, ma'am. They're kicking me out, jeez. Shit, how could anyone do such a thing? Guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. You, what? Take it over here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It's only right that I should personally escort him from the village to the Fieldlands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you da all down for bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Looks like I need to burn this place to the ground. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, the harlot gives you power to turn it red. It's utterly intolerable, and I might add a absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. I must not. You must not. It only cause you have more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been, you've been an aide in both Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and Erda might take you in. I'm afraid they've already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try Leon first. He's like to be in Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. Well, sure, you have all you need to complete the survey the commander asked you to task you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet both ad admiration and abuse from others. However, how others choose to view you is only a choice they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that matters is you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beats to complete the Pokédex? The dream won't come true without you. This is some bullshit. I am so mad. Just because I caused all this doesn't mean you need to act like I caused all this. Not cool. They don't have any proof. Ow. 
Ow! He just straight up drops you. Everything is so evil looking now with the red sky. Let's see if there's any shinies at least. One shiny is all the copium I need. Just need a shiny. But you know who's really sus in all this? The commander. He's being really, really sus. Like, hmm. Okay, that was cool. Yo, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. Lightning starts pouring out from it. All the Pokemon and Hisu could be thrown into a frenzy. Tyre clan's in panic now. I should have known the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. I need help. Help? Ah, oh, well, that's not exactly something I can do. Not that I wouldn't like to help you, but I would put Riddy in a difficult position. I truly wish I could repay you for calling Cleaver's favorites you did. You must know that. There's nothing alone I alone could do for you. Warden May might be able to help you, though. She's caring. She's a caring woman, after all. Mostly find May in the Warren Bridge. I believe she's a very significant place for her. I'm certain uh, that somewhere in the vastness of Sue, there's a place for you as well. I have a big salad. I know how to make them suffer. I will hunt the shinies. And I'll have all shinies. And they'll have just regular Pokemon. And feel bad in comparison. Gyarados can fly, yes. Um, 
he, for whatever reason, is a flying water Pokemon. Bounces right off of him. Uh, do I need a wing ball so this won't even try to catch him? Gyarados is based on the dra uh, that dragon from uh, Japanese myth. I helped all these people and they won't help me back. Wow. World of Warcraft is adding cross-faction instances. Ooh. So you can do uh, dungeons with your uh, cross-faction friends? The person who's been the most sussiest sussed of them all is this guy, Volo. Oh my god, chat, look, there's a breast on stream. Right there in the text.
Who is this lady? So this is, uh, this entire game is basically a uh, Diamond and Pearls region, but way, way back in time. We're about to go to the Three Lake Guardians.
Okay, so I just realized Galaxy Team is Team Galactic from um, Diamond and Pearl. Clan Diamond and Pearl are in the game. So no wonder he's being such a dick. He's evil. He's the bad guy. Good times from the letter then? Yes. And so we are going to be doing what Team Galactic was trying to do in Brilliant Diamond and Pearl, which was going back, getting the red chain, and keeping... This time, forming the world, not trying to undo it. Like the Galactic was trying to undo it before. So we're gonna do the reverse of what they did, which is make the world stable. And we're gonna do it by going to the Lake Guardians from Diamond and Pearl. And if you remember in Diamond and Pearl, they said that Jubilife City was built on top of the ruins of an ancient city which has to be the city that Team Galactic is on right now. Hmm. Quite the opportunity is Archie Bullock, such a consumer guild merchant. I managed to reassure my people for now. Warren's keeping a close eye on their nobles too. Seems all is quiet for the moment, so here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, rep relations would grow stick strained. Honestly, I'm sure won't help you without drawing attention. It'll be just one on one of us. It's me or her. It's up to you. Though your answer should be obvious. Oh no! There isn't two versions of the game because you choose inside of the game itself. Which one? You ah, damn. Oh no! This must mean I have, I'm choosing which. If I want uh, Palkia or um, Dialga. Well, I want I want um, Dialga's cooler. I was gonna choose me, right? Who gave you that slush food in the first place? Right, strapping you, man. Yeah, I choose you. That's so you can count on me. So then, the, le the left leftover leader will leftover. I'm not somebody scraps. I'll keep watch on the commander. Imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will. Um, to decide which of Pazuzu region's uh, Great Lakes to visit first. We better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever you decide to go. We'll be in hot water if we, we're seen traveling together. kind of need to handle this, Adamin. We don't want to cause Dan more trouble. It's interesting. I want Dialga. If, if I if I have a choice between Dialga and Palkia, I'll take Dialga every time. So basically, everything's the same. We still get access to all the stuff before. It's just that now we're kind of rogue on our own, and we have to save the world. Be why? 
because we're a hero. And that's what we do. We do hero shit. Let's check our Machamp. Oh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. How about Gallade? Um, could be worse. It's not, it's not terrible. Taking more speed, not necessarily a bad thing. A full team of Mr. Mimes? Get out. Get out. No. Never. That would be beyond creepy. Full team of Mr. Mimes. What the hell? Antique tea set. What's her name again? Kagata. Kagita. She's wearing a black dress with white details. There's three poofy balls on the top. What about the pattern? What about that? Does that pattern mean something? She kind of looks like Cynthia. Maybe this is like Cynthia's great great grandma. I wonder. I need to always be looking for shinies. If I see a shiny, check it's a hundred gift subs. Hazring, thank you for subbing on Punday Monday. Why was Pavlov's beard so soft? Because he conditioned it. That is clever. That is a clever joke. That is damn clever. Where's my kitty at? Let's find out. Tifa, do you want a snack? Tifa, you want a snack? Tifa? Tifa, you hungry? Tifa. She must be sound asleep. She must be conked out if she's not coming for, for snacks. She usually looks like our damn please emote when there's snacks involved.
Come on, shiny. Where's my shinies? If I get a shiny Mr. Mime, I will use the damn thing. That music is very eerie to play. Constantly. All right, now let's go to the Lake Guardian. Um, Lake Valor Guardian was... Was it Uxie? Uh, they say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Viridity was born. Affected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Arc phone's beeping. Oh, I have my ticket on my phone. Okay. It's like Eventbrite. You, they just had to scan it, and then they get to go into the show. Yep, my damn phone. Uh, that cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the presser was going on about? Pretty sub all three guardians to guard these lakes. Challenge never for the faint of heart. See what's inside. Hello? Oh, Chad, it's for you if you want to answer on Dan's phone. Um, there's something about this place I can't quite put into words. What in the hell? A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing. Brew the Pokemon of the lake. How strong you are. Well, if only I had a dragon. Can I just... No. Gumi is weird. It's like a just a big slime ball dragon. Go, guard shop. Gudra is filled with might. Uh oh. Well, one really good outrage ought to do it. Never mind. Apparently, it's not a dragon. I guess it's... It's not a dragon? Must have different typing. It's steel dragon? A gooey pile of goop is steel now? What? You can't do that. Oh, ow, ooh. I, it's a, I think it's a new new evolution for Goombi, or Goomy. So now it's Steel Dragon instead of just being a dragon. It now has like a snail shell on its back or something. That's the way, Dan. 
I can tell by watching you, the Pokemon, uh, you've caught in those little balls to understand one another. Uh, now let's see about the Pokemon of the Lake. Yes, yeah, the Hisswind version of Gumi's evolution. You feel a mysterious presence. <laughs> Kaiwan! Um, let me, uh, evolve. I mean, uh, resurrect my other Pokemon. And da, 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 da. your emotions share them with me. They're yours. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you subscribed with Prime Gaming to Dan's Gaming and used his amazing emotes in chat? Complete. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? We're all so different. What did you feel when cast out of Galaxy Team? I felt bitter. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh my god, driver's license. Mesprit's Plume. Preview Clear Child Mesprit. Dan, wow. Dan, wow. Kaiwan! I can't imagine what that must feel like having Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. Probably be surprised with things like after seeing the sky itself so warped. Two tasks, le le two lakes left to visit. I can drive now. Dan, wow. Uh, Rhea and Blunderwear HS, thank you for the subs. Yes. Appreciate that. Looks like it worked out well, Dan. Gotta admit, you were. You, you sure know plenty about his with Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led to this particular present. Or miraculous, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my past, so to speak. I think we all like some answers to that. I also want to know why they changed the Klingon so much in Star Trek Discovery. And I don't know uh, how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I even got some questions about its true nature. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but ha we have an important task before us. So you want to return to Mistress Cognitive's home? Yes. We'll see what she, she, see what she thinks of our progress. We're gonna sip some tea with her. 
Ha, Mesprit's plumage. The legends told it true. And the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this makes no sense to me. These Pokemon re represent our minds, and they're, they give us this thing, and it'll let us bind the world and solve all this mess, but how? Why? Hey, Julia, can you make um, the Pika Danderp uh, Tifa? I like that one. Um, your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Uh, without the mind, uh, were the rift uh, to widen and the world to end, would we even know it? One might say the world, space, time, and all creation uh, only exist because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the red chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get even less now. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more of for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to discover. Any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials when we get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Wow. She wrecked that guy. Damn. She obliterated him. You're worthless. You're not even doing anything. Called him out for being an NPC. Snowfields camp. I know Julia's like, nope, no more emotes. We're closed. Sorry. Come back next year. The music is so somber and dreary right now. Braviary looks so cool in this one. Climb, 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 climb. Yeah, you can, you can only glide. You can't really go upward. Kind of need a sneezer for that. go downward but not upward. It's probably just a way to limit the flying so you don't go like out of bounds. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it came to seawater as well. Nobody knows why though. Could be a fluke of geography. Perhaps connected to Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is affected by Pokemon Uxi. Uh, like Uxi took flight the knowledge to solve problems is born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Dark phone's beeping. I got my QR code right here.
tool that can make Kay simply appear from nowhere. It's quite handy to have. Let's go, Dad. I really like the story in this one. It's been very interesting. Let's see what's waiting for us. Oh my god, what is that? Menacing Pokemon stands before you. Ow, 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 ow. That is badass looking. Um, careful on that thing. That thing looks like fairy to me, so I'm gonna try poison. Try catching it up. Oh, yeah, I should try to catch things. Shadowfell. Uh oh. Ow. Well, it's not fairy. I can't catch them. <gasps> I didn't realize they were catchable. How? Uh, let's try uh, Snowlax. Um. Oh, he's normal ghost. What a weird combo. That is a strange combo. Two things that are immune to each other. Okay. Oh, uh, we can still catch the. We can still evolve the other uh, Goomba thing. Got it. Yeah, it looks like it was designed from a Bloodborne dev or something. Knew you could do it, Dan. You feel a mysterious presence. Corian! Come, I will test your knowledge. Come be Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dustclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. I'm ready to answer. One. Oh, wait, sh wait, no, go back. Hold on. Sorry, one more time. I Cumby is six faces with two eyes each, so six. Zubat, two. Six, two, one. Magneton is six again, I think. Um, six, two, one, six, one. Six, two, one, six, one. No, wait. It was only five digits. Though. Wait a minute. Zubat doesn't have eyes. So, it's six, zero, one, Six zero one uh six zero one six one 
Six zero one six one. Six zero one six one. Six zero one six one. Six zero one six. Oh, oops. Uh, have it. Uh, one. Manitou must only have one eye. So six zero one three one. Six zero one three one. Six zero one three one. Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. Oh, that's it? I get the ultimate power now? You receive license to buy beer. Whoa! Best loot ever! Just one more to go. Uh, those are uh, very common Pokemon. They're not the more obscure ones. People remember that. I assume all went well, Dan. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? What's this running all about? Guess I think too, to keep the chain safe and to test us. That's right. Who knows what happened with the wrong hand at all? Is it changed for Red and Rome? Maybe there's some villain crap for it. Who can say for sure? Maybe the Red Chain has some use besides many in the world. Wink, wink. Could be right. No, no, until the Red Chain for ourselves. Let's go back to Mistress's home. Yeah, I wonder who would ever want to use the Red Chain for something evil. Clearly, that would never happen. I wonder how much of this lore was already written in the past and how many how much of it they had to retcon and just make it up and pretend like they knew what they were doing ahead of time. Like when they made Diamond and Pearl, did they know about this game's story or not? I know, Pokemon lore, lol. This song could use some bongos. Can you guys help?
So that's Uxie's claw. Sense of warmth to it. Pokemon lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed. Yeah, we may add just a dash more speed. Things to do Black Village are tense. What makes you think so? Seems Pokemon's being glimpsed on at the other side of the rift. One of those uh, Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me of Commander Kamado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should they need our eyes. One of the Grinko Guild merchants. It makes sense you're not one of them. Not if. Now if. If a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift. What would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Dan. There's no time to lose. We've got a, one material left for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's a spirit. I'll come watch the historic moment unfold, too. Watch. Is that all you really do? Remember, you've only sought the third lake and found what's needed for the ch chain. If the shrouded ruins. <laughs> Alright, last lake. Please, R and Jesus, give us a shiny. We want a shiny. If you give us a shiny, chat gets gift subs. And it would be nice if it could be a really good shiny too. That would be lovely. Not Gengar's shiny though. Gengar's shiny is not very good. You can hardly tell it's shiny. It's so similar. Gengar's a Pokemon shiny. I hope they redo at some point. Well, Mega Gengar is white. It would be nice if regular Gengar became white too in his shiny form. That would be badass. A white Gengar? I'd be like, hell to the yeah. What is that thing in the water? Oh, it's Wizcash Alpha. Is there a way to increase your chances at shiny Pokemon in this? Yes, there is. Number one. Uh, like this guy here. First way to increase your shiny chance is co um, complete 10 of these objectives on the Pokedex for one additional roll every time there's a shiny. If you complete all of them beyond the 10, you get an extra roll. So every time one spawns, it rolls once then twice if you got 10, and then three times if you complete it. So that way it tries again to get a shiny, so you have better odds. And then two, get a shiny charm. The shiny charm gives you three extra rolls as well. And then outbreaks um, give you an extra chance on top of that. 
which brings it down to a 1 in 160 chance. So it's still very low. It's still less than 1%, but um, it's much higher than 1 out of 4,096, like the current shiny rate. How do you know about Lake Valor? Said to be formed by volcanic eruption, much like Lake Viridity. Though there are other theories that say it was carved in the midst of a Pokemon battle. Lake is protected by a Pokemon Azelf. Uh, well, Azelf took flight, um, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. And, and that is what legend would have us believe. Arc phone's beeping. QR code. Uh, a cave uh, appears uh, where there was none. It's a jump for Dan. Yeah, all the games, most all the games have the same shiny chance, which is 1 out of 4,096. And while the games have ways to increase the odds on that one. Uh, some do catch uh, streaks. Some do um, that one, like, radar thing. Uh, this one does Pokedex and Outbreaks. And we go, Dan. Imagine strong Pokemon could wait out inside, protecting the Pokemon of Lake. Take care. What makes this one um, somewhat easier to find shinies is that instead of going battle by battle to find shinies, um, five will spawn at once, and you can see them in the world. You don't have to battle it to know that it's shiny. You can see that it's shiny, and it sparkles and makes a sound when it's shiny as well. Uh, if you're if you see a, a Pokemon like make a sound and also a sparkle appears on it on the map um, it, you know it's shiny they make it very obvious let's see what we're up against dear god a menacing Pokemon waits before you watch it dead heard about this one from your grandfather quills are venomous now Static encounters like this, where it's always this Pokemon in this spot for this quest, can't be shiny. Starters also can't be shiny. Um, you can only get shinies on um, in this game on encounters you can repeat again and again. They're shiny locked. Now, if he's poison, then that means Psychic will do some work on him. Uh, fish me, 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 me. Go, Crobat. All the shinies that you start with in this game appear later in the game to catch as shiny. If you're very lucky. No effect. Oh, he's... He's poison dark. Therefore, he won't take any damage from Psychic. Oh... That's that's strong typing. Poison dark. Let's try ground is super effective. Yeah, we're going to play this game until we get an alpha shiny of every single Pokémon. I'm kidding. Never. That would take that would take your entire life. Uh Uh that's my Dan. You feel a mysterious presence. Ten years later. Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh no. 
Dan Uwu is definitely the most Dan cute emote. Well, thank you, his suit box. I'm not through yet. I'm not through yet. Wait, what? Can Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. I think it was a test of perseverance, like the will to keep doing it. Just keep doing it. As if Fang. Um, we would give you as if Fang, but we made a donation to a charity in, the, in your name. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Uh, looks like the lake journey is complete. Well, now we'll get the red chain, hopefully. And then... Seems we finished three late trials. Remember correctly, we were told to head to Shrouded Ruins. Shrouded Ruins, isn't that where we met Giratina? But I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. No, it's not. This is where we found. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long uh, said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, the world of myth, we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. So I know the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really magic be forged by mortal hands? What are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste.
Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. Oh, no. The New York Times bought Wordle for several million dollars. Damn, they're going to put ads on it, and then we're not going to be able to play it anymore. Oh, come on. Uh, they're going to ruin it. That's lame. Ugh. Every time you go to New York Times, like, would you like to buy a subscription? Okay, then you can't watch. Um, ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. Yep, initially free to all, aka we're going to put a paywall on it. Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. The red chain. Uh, so it was true. The pact our people uh, had passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set the burden aside. Um... You succeeded once again, Dan. Yet things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I had some news from my fellow merchants in the Grinko Guild. The Grink Ginkgo Guild. Um... It seems the commander is going to forgo waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't know, uh, yet know that Dan has ma managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we, the, now we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then and call off a foolhardy plan of his. Dan? Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to each other one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Celine's appetite for a potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute. I'll go and let the captain know you're okay. Oh, my dear Dan. Press have been awfully worried about you, Dan. Of course I was worried about. I don't think you could handle the distress. I could look into the stress you showed, Akari. That's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where is the captain? Wasn't she, uh, coming alongside you, Professor? 
she's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to, we're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It, sure, it seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado's gone. The commander's gone? We set out for Mount Cornet with the Security Corps in tow. Uh, he's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business, including dealing with uh, the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards that with Pikachu at the ready. While we're getting anywhere out, well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as ordered. Well done. Yes, I followed that order. You all in chat followed that order too. Congrats, chat. You're promoted to rank two chat. Um, so you're not, you've managed not to die, just order. Well done. I have no idea what you're implying. As I know, is Abra vanished on its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume you're here because you've managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain. Go on. You explain about the red chain you obtained. Legendary tool to bind to the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife City. Uh, the Security Corps have been scouting the area near the Space Time Rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain as to prepare to fend off as many, uh, the, fend off any possible threats. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten Dan to help. As of the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Dan, take the red chain to Mount Cornet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. Mission reinstated you as your former rank. Are you certain you can do that with the command commander way, Captain? If you didn't wish me to decide things in this place, you shouldn't have not left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all this together, but remembers the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. I think, Chad, it's time for uh, Lucario, us to get Arceus. Something the matter, Lucario? I'm Rye. Rye Bread. And you are? Oh, you're Dan. Nice to meet you. Ruff. What is it, Lucario? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Timmy's trapped in a well? Seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. Willing to battle us. Could you come to the training grounds? Sure. Yep, I can speak dog. Mechanical pinwheel, 40,000. I don't have that much money, sir. At least not right now. Wait, maybe if I sell something. Um, let's. If I sell all these dust. That's a bit of money. There you are, Dan. Rudy is already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? The is already at Mount Cornet. He's already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless and dignified in manner of his let's on. Not that I blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. 
Well, all right then. I'm going to after him. Let me go first, Dan. You were, if you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasted. See you there. Who is the reckless one? Hey, you, you've got to run out of the village, right? But you're still, you still trying to find a way to help us all? That's right. Dan worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Uh, two, two right, and that's uh, a fine job he did. Surfer is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks. Here, take this. Ma oh, thanks. Uh, you survive Sumba Mon and Fainted to restore his HP to max. Well, thank you. For a single max revive. The orders are three. Make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, bring back pancakes. I mean, return here alive. I've heard the latest. So you've been accepted in the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Three max potions. Looks like the big moment's upon us at last. No doubt. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Iridia have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Dan, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. Seems Commodore intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop close to the temple itself. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. If anything goes wrong, the Great Melly will be here, for most part, at least. Yeah, Volo is being very, very sus as well. I'm not sure about him. Something seems off. Something seems like he's hiding something. He knows more than he's letting on. Let's take, um... I think Voltorb's kind of our weak link here. <laughs> Normal ghost is interesting. He has very high special attack, but his attack's not that far behind. Shh. 
Shadow. Shadow Ball is very good. Give him a good mix of moves there. I will try that thing out, see how it is. If he does, maybe it'll be awesome. He's very cool looking. Normal ghost is such interesting typing. Can I take a quick break, guys? Run to the bathroom. We'll be right back in just a minute.
How do you off? Oh, that's it. Screen burner reduction. Okay, found it. All right, welcome back, everybody. Oh, let's, uh, let's go and see how we do against God. Let's go fight God. That'll go great. This will be perfect. What could go wrong with fighting God? Arceus, the god of all Pokemon. That cable is cool. The music is cool. Uh oh. Pokemon battles. I should probably use a couple things I've been holding in my inventory for quite some time. I have a bunch of these in here and I need to use them. Look, Probat's too damn low level. Get him up there. Snorlax, you deserve to be high level too. Or not. Those were tiny. Go, Snorlax. <laughs> oh, 
Also, we should be working on stats as well. Get the uh, effort levels up there as well. We have so many of these, might as well be. One, two, three, one. There needs to be an apply all button or something. Or like a max all stats button. Game Freak could be worse than this? Yes. It's very tedious. There needs to be a use multiple option or something. Snorlax. Up your health even more, buddy. beefy, but he has pretty low HP, I think. He's getting beefy. Vampire is going to stay away from Taylor Swift. I've been told it's because she has bad blood. Dear God. Love my Pokemon team? Well, thank you. I like to use the ugly Pokemon that no one else wants to use. Like Walrein. These are like roids of up their stats. Team is three Sudo Wudo and three Nose Pass. Hold on, I need to ban someone in chat. Hold on, give me a second. It's like, how could you do that? Someone suggested six Mr. Mimes? Oh, yeah, I banned them forever. I couldn't. Like, I can handle some, like, jokes once in a while, but that's just vulgarity. Like, that's just vulgar. You don't say that. Okay, Snorlax. Let's give you even more HP, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so chonky. I love Snorlax. 
He's gonna get all my stuff first. He's a beefy boy. He loves being fed all his gravel, but mmm, delicious. Even more HP, Snorlax. Oh, so 10 is the max. So things can only be increased to 10. Good to know. So, Snorlax is maxed out. He is as good as he'll ever get. <laughs> Such infinite power. Uh, let's do speed. Speed's very important for Lucario. Okay. Chonky boy is chonky now. Miss you on roleplay? Yep. Uh, JP uh, doesn't do roleplay anymore. He did it for so long. Understandable. Sometimes people do something for a very long... Oh my god. Is that an Electrovire? Alpha? Oh god. Okay. Run! Yeah, I got an Alpha Snorlax, and he is big boy, biggest boy. He big, he protect, he love. Buddy, do you want a snack? Got him, Electrovire. He's level sixty nine. Nice, nice. Perfect level. I sent a Pokemon battle. Oh, still alive and kicking. Instead of having a shirt of the wallflower, I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that Tasman's Komodo is gone. He left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to even these old, put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I'll make myself plain. I'm Komodo's right hand. I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds. Komodo can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word to get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. Besides, I spit in your moki. <sighs> And besides, I'm not just Komodo who longs to live in a new... It's not just Komodo who longs to live in a new home world. Home free of uh, fear and strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? This is how you, you're meant to use them.
When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after the other, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last! One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. He's a ninja? Uh-oh. It's Galaxy Team's Benny and it challenged you to a battle. Oh god, it's mischievous. Sleepy, sleepy time. Hit him with the old Zen headbutts. Don't you don't fall asleep, Zorlax. Smack him. Good. Stop being tired. Come on now, one more, one more, hit him! Damn it! Oh god, not Power Gym, one of the worst moves ever. Oh, not twice in a row, oh god. You can't handle this thickness. Sneasler. Okay. You bastard. Get him, Krobat! Ho 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 ho! Take that! That's for Snorlax. Gardevoir, uh oh. Sounds like you need a little bit of poison! <laughs> And a little bit more poison. <laughs> Get wrecked, Gardevoir. Glade, uh oh. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Uh. Ow. All right, Zorak. Okay, go on this side so I can see your face. Okay, you look weird in that side. Okay, go ahead and... Give him the old... The old Shadow Ball. Woo! 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 Damn! It seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. I hate that dead Pokemon don't get any XP. That's annoying. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep a target. Keep after a target that cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. Listen well, Dan. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. 
Commodore and I uh, saw our hometown burn to the ground by a Madden Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Sweetie to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, sometimes have to take extreme actions. If hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Komodo might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. Do that and I'll try to stuff you full of more delicious mochi than a human stomach can handle. Wait, what? Now you're my friend? Your motivations are suspicious, sir. Now we're friends again, apparently. Oh, I'm healed, fully healed. So if I do what he says, he says he'll stuff me good. With that sweet, delicious stuff I like. Pokemon can be really dark at times? Yep, that's why they invented the move Flash. Hold on, what is this? Lost Satchel all the way up here? Damn. Oh, um... Give me some. Ooh, full restores. Let's get a couple of those just in case. Because those are nice to have just as an emergency. And a couple max revives too. You brought the red chain? Dan, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding on top of that mountain. That Pokemon that's appeared, apparently been sighted through the rift. I think it might be on the cover of this game. I mean, it might be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Talk some sense into the commander. I'll try. I'm not a miracle worker. He's got the evil mustache. He's doubly a villain. You again! I heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. Welcome, my dear, but I, can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. What do you even think the red chain is some trick on Dan's part? He worked mildly to get that thing. And I should know, I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trial set by the three. Pokemon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted all that on his own, then what hope do we have anyway? Perhaps you're right. But if it were, if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take the complete responsibility. Fine enough. Let fate decide what happens. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Dan. Today we battle in earnest. Challenge you to battle. Braviary, uh oh. That's a flying Pokemon, and it's like a Pokemon. That's not good for us. We need to, uh, swap to something else.
Get him, walrus. Give him the old ice beam. <laughs> Go. Woo. Golem. Oh my god. This is great. Uh oh. No, that's gonna hurt. Here, okay, fine. Give him the old liquidation. Deleted. No. Give him the old big or a spear. Almost. Max potion, that's cheating. I do it twice anyways. Okay, we're fine. Kill him. <laughs> Cliff Fable. That's your last. Okay. Go twice? Nope. Give him the old cross poison. Training kiss? That's not fair. One good cross poison. I'll do it. Battle decided. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Ooh, 10,000. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. The fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask of it of you any longer. Please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. No, for the sake of Celestica people and all the Pokemon living as soon. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Oh, they heal you on Mac after each battle here. That's nice. Now we fight God himself. I want that growl it. That growl looks badass. It's all the nobles. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head, something talking inside my head. 
You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adam, what are you saying? What do you mean catch you? How many sinner? I think it spoke to me. It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. Ultra balls. Well, thank you. Arceus. No! Lugia! Or Dialga, sorry. Wrong one. Sorry, Dialga! Go, Crobat. I'm getting flashbacks to Diamond in Steel Dragon. Is he weak to ice? Take out Lucario. Probably should be able to hit him. Or a spear. Go! Woo! That's close. Oh, he's got earth power. That's not good. All right, Dialga. You can't go twice! God of time's cheating! You can't manipulate time, God of time! Get in my balls! One. Got him! Oh yeah, first try. He caught it. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the lake, sir. Thanks for getting us this far. Well done, Dan, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching you the whole time as you battled and caught your way to simply stunning victory. Truly the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. What's happening again? I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No! It's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaks to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. Tell me there's another one? The red chain smashed the bits. No way, even Dan can attack another Pokemon as strong as the last one. Um, static fights like this one can't be shiny in this game. They're shiny locked. Oh my god. Palkia, too? Go! 
All of you, we must va va vacate this. God, forget the fancy song. Booker, come on, we gotta be back to summit camp while we still can. Really, before whatever that this other almighty Sino does, decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, you can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't do any, be used to anyone if you die up here in this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Why can't I attack it? It's just a Pokemon. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. Imagine you've managed to stay on your feet, feet before it, Dan. Did you notice it, the energy pouring off of the rift? It's likely that... Uh, it seems likely that a build of the same energy is what caused the strange lightning that drew the no Pokemon to their frenzied states. Can't believe there are really two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans really were, were really wrong, huh? Must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To both of you. As the as well as, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust, Dan. And trusted Dan. And to you, Dan, I acted on ill-conceived presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team. Forced you to face great hardships alone. And despite all that, you still uh, strove to save all of his sweep. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and order the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Because you're stupid. Commander, might it suggest we return to the matter at hand? We left things quite in a state at the, at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Rest. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell in the past, huh? That's what I expect from a real scientist. Dependable attitude, indeed. Yes, let's move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. Seems having Dan about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance of getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it, though. How's it going to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I got a plan. Thanks to what uh, Mighty Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, along with its name. It also told me what we need. We need to buy something called Legends of Arceus 2. Available on the Nintendo Store. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wanted to, wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least. The, uh, the pieces, anyway. I did collect them. The vessel of mankind's invention, I dare say, refers to a Pokeball. What about Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some ideas. His knowledge about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. He even gives me discounts on all his ore, which is quite an ore deal. Is that so? Then Ward and Leon will be fine with resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor L Laventon? Do you have any idea what this st stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Dan, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weird Ear and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Just as I remembered, here in the back of the Earth place it says, when the universe was created, its shard became this plate. I think maybe a hint to what we need. 
How do you mean? Can you see, we must search for a stone. Rather, ore, I suppose, that shares the same mineral properties. Sure, probably these plates. In fact, I believe Young Yin might know where to find such a thing, as he's been uh, investigating at Volo's urging. I mentioned that Volo fellow's come around, come around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. Side of them, we began a journey for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say we call it Origin Ore? Ready, I may ask your clan's aid once more. Of course, I'll call Lee into Summit Camp but once. Wait as long as anyone could reasonably expect. Meditation never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited a, a visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adamant, I see all the other louts have the little task to be getting on with. What are the great Melly? Where is my rule in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shed of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamant. Make it a good one. You want a job? Fine, your job support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking for after other nobles and keeping the people of the clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamant. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they're suited to and work they're not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this reward for your adorable efforts. This is my way of encouraging the little people. So you're all a little, and you're also little compared to me. Thanks for the candy truffles. I brought Lee in. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you. you. You, you're as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. I do not like this guy. History's ore and stones are a precious resource. Since I was the first to realize this fact, it's only natural I should be first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it out with a cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me! That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both of you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the pearl clamp folks for once. Would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam, man, everyone's back at home all worked out about the fact you you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh. Or Mighty Dayauga or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Ah, uh, Waterland, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out for once. We make for the primeval, primeval ghetto. Or grotto, sorry. <laughs> the grotto. Head for the place where you can obtain origin ore. Are my uh, Pokemon healed? Yes. Let's go! Where? Oh, there's a cave there. Oh my god, it's an alpha nose pass evolution. No, thank you. It looks like Mario. Got him, Probo Pass. 
I'll never use that one. He's gotta be one of the ugliest Pokemon. He's up there. Unless you're a real fan of, um, a real big fan of uh, Mario, then maybe you like him, but he's kind of like, eh. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of Sligo's moves, I think you better leave the extraction work up to us, don't you think? I'm not a big fan of Mario, but if you offer me the game for free as part of Probo Pass, I'm in. Very nice. I'm gonna have you to stop right there. Oh, not these people again. I forgot about Misfortune. Oh, come now. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with. Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can't you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why we even look surprised. Not like not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore the awful sky to normal. Oh, the earnest goody two shoes act of yours is what made us leave the plural clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why he ran off to play Bandit, I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Dan, you make, you take charm. I bring good luck to my sister wherever I go, and no luck to anyone cross our path. Yeah, yeah, you're a stupid lion again. Still only two Pokemon, okay. When will you learn to have more than one Pokemon, ma'am? It's just embarrassing for her. Yeah, the car is massive because he's a uh, alpha Pokemon. Oh, Gengar though. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Let's do Zen Headbutt on Kobat. Then head back, go! Oh, goodbye. That was so easy. Well, you are rather formidable. I feel bad for her. Come on, Claire, why not come back to Diamond Clan? Times are changing, we're changing, and we can really use someone as strong as you are. You joking owners are living back in that place with all its stupid rules? Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Dan. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. Even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Okay, that was impressive. Honestly, those three, where do they even come? What do they even come here for? I'll hit everyone up. 
Like, they're so pointless and annoying. Like, like, there's such minor weak fights, too. It's silly. Coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone need, even if she groused as she did so. The fact that they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanted to help. Should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Was able to stretch some of the origin or what do you is to call it? Suppose you'd better go had better go with you, Dan. Well that was easy. Piece of origin or that was surprisingly easy. Now you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we count on you, Leah. No wonder Cleaver recognized you worthy warden. Turn back to Professor, show him what we got. That Levitin has got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. This music was cool for the first hour. Now it's like, okay, I need, okay do we have any more songs, please? I, I get it. <laughs> Ripsicles, thank you for the five gifts us for chat. If two vegans are having an argument, is it still considered beef? Alga, yes, please. I guess. <laughs> I guess the Alga. Go with that one. Actually, no. Mm. Snorlax is going to be weak to. Palkia's fighting attacks. But I love him. What about Nor... So if something is ghost and normal... It resists normal, mutant normal, and it takes neutral damage from, and resists fighting. Hmm. So Zoroark can actually be good. Gets the God of Time. Actually, it might be immune to fighting since he's a ghost. Snorlax is too much of a liability for this fight, though. Could be hard. We'll get him out later, though. So this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the Origin Ore. Hmm, yes, I can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of... He's immune to ghost fighting in normal and only weak to dark. Wow, that's really strong. Three immunities. That is crazy. 
Yes, I can feel certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been uh, meaning to ask since you uh, brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, uh, back we go to Jubilee Village. I want to see what I can tra teach him, too. You are Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broken as it may be? This one, even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for our purpose. We're, we're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these burnt bits back at the temple. Your turn, Dan. Next comes the son of creation's beginning. Fragments of the red chain. Uh, collect a great risk by the Pearl Clan. Stone of Creation Beginning, which we first learned thanks to the Diamond Clan. Now it's time for Galaxy Team to play a, its part and turn these into the proper vessel. Kari, my girl, you are one of my, our team's greatest craftspeople. Can you do the honors? This is my true battlefield, Danny, even if it may be safe in, indoors. It takes some time. Perhaps it's best to uh, wait outside while we work. Are they creating the first Master Ball? Come on, Professor. I wish they'd hurry up in there. So I suspect all that prattling about the value of time is to cover up for your own impatience. If sitting back waiting actually solved things, I'd stay here forever because I'd be using time well and like this. We've done it, Dan. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed our go good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Contained an Origin Ball. A single, singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that be used to catch the frantic Pokemon raging in the Temple of Sinnoh. Those Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all his secrets could rest in something so tiny. Interesting how catching Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Well, hold on. Is that voice? I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like Mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. Or perhaps I should say Dialga is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now, Dan. Take the origin ball and head back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. Well, we get one Master Ball. But what happens if we miss? What then? Hyper, wait, you are heavy. You're pretty even on both. Let's teach you hyper. Never mind. You don't have enough. We don't have enough money for that. Um, well, never mind. Now, if, if um, he's fighting dragon, that is quadruple weak to fairy. Fairy will mess him up. Anyone learn a fairy move? Well, 
Well, that's baby doll eyes isn't exactly what I'm looking for. Fairy. How about, can you teach the god of time something? Dialga has insanely high special attack. Let's, um, what does special attack do? Um, it makes you, it makes your attack special. So instead of being like, pow, 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 it's more like, pow, 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 woo! You're like a little, a little more fancy and magical. Not quite as boring. Like a little bit of flare. <laughs> now in Pokemon there are there's attack and special attack. Imagine it's like strength and magic power. Um every move is either a physical move or a magic move. And a Pokemon with higher magic special attack does more damage with special attack. So Let's say I have a special attack move that hits for 100 damage. If I have 100 special attack, then it hits for 200 damage. But if someone has zero special attack, it still only hits for 100 damage. Basically, that's the gist of it. I need money. Got no money. Well, yeah, I'm gonna see what you got just by default. Earth power, good. Iron tail, not good on you as you have very low attack. Dragon Pulse, 80 power. Roar of Time, user blast the target with power that distorts even time. Oh, they made Dialga's power even better. They took they took a lot of moves and changed them to make them less annoying in this one. How's the PvP? The PvP is the same as it's the same as the number of DLCs we got for Mass Effect Andromeda. Doesn't exist. There's no PvP. There's none. There's also no held items, no abilities. Palkia is water dragon, not fighting dragon. What? I thought Palkia was fi was fighting dragon because he's got like the punchy arms. Or does, is he different in this game?
Oh wait, what is Dialga in this? Dialga is Steel Dragon, just like the previous game. Palkia is water dragon type, really? Well, that changes my, that changes the math. If it's water dragon, it's weak to dragon and fairy, so she'll still mess him up. Dialga will kick his ass. I thought, for some reason, I thought with the punchy arms, I never had Palkia before. I thought he was a fighting type because he's got the punchy arms. But no, he's just water. Okay. Here you are, lost one. Ready to face Mount Tavis's battle must seems to await you. I guess I'm going. Come on, child. I did not choose this burden. I must weigh mightily on you. But you can bear it. You have your friends, your allies, and most importantly, your Pokemans. Now, hard, hard to do my words, young one. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. Being you in Kyle the Temple, Sinnoh is Palki, a ruler of all space. It's allowed to run wild. Space itself will warp and bend here, and soon eventually the, world, the very world may be broken. You have the aid of the counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to space and time. The world can once again be as it should. Now take the alga your side and make uh, for the temple of Sinnoh once more. Must say, it's quite an intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Well, I hardly have the time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. All right, Dan, once you're feel ready, set out. We make for Temple Sinnoh once more. That is a good point. I didn't even think about that. All right, let's, um... Let's give, um... Palkia some dust to max out her IVs if, if we can. We may not be able to. Looks like we can actually. Attack, attack, attack. Defense. Special attack, special attack, special attack. Let's go fight for glory. We fight for glory. Fight against God, part two. Oops. A little baby. Yay! What happened in part one? In part one, we got us a new friend. Dialga.
Now, uh, Dialga should probably one-shot him. Be my guess, because she's got a very, very powerful dragon attack. Like, one of the best. Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might help to you if I set up here, close to the temple. I ha I want to have front row seats so there's a chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping ever close to the action once the battle actually begins. Uh, won't you uh, have worry about me? Don't worry about me, I'll create people to take care of myself. Besides, I know all too well the strengths of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow. Uh, before I can possibly be in any danger. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just leave you here. Volo has been Volo has been strange. Volo is definitely not being honest about something. For so long. I thought I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether that meant bashing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon in the temple, I felt it was my only path. You showed me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? Yes. Hey, Dan, let's meet tomorrow together. What's that supposed to mean? It's the same, we got in Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both be safe. That's worth listening to what the Diamond Clans say sometimes as well. We'll support you whenever we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Dan, protect Husu and her people. Protect time and space from her, her Pokemon. She's reversing time. Then, wow. Oh my God, it's a horse? What the? How can it look so weird? I was not expecting a bomb fight. I was not expecting that. Okay. Well, now we caught Ponampia.
You had to retry three times? Well, I am, you know, professional streamer, gamer, god gamer here. You're welcome. I beat games. You don't have to. It's damn easy for me. Got it! He really did, didn't he? Might as well lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Good show, what a catch. You contain the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Dan. Thanks, Sino. Formidable as usual, Dan. Now I wonder. If you choose the opposite, do you get normal Palkia and then a different form of Dialga? So there's like two different forms that you can get? Interesting. Formable as usual, Dan. So you get normal of one and then an alternate form of the other, whichever you choose. Hmm, yes. So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. <laughs> Ouch, what gives me? Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. Well, at least this, it seems to, this is no dream. Hmm. Listen up, all of you. We faced a clam midi, and like any we've known, but we were able to overcome it by working at, as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration history has ever seen. Celebrate with the diamond clan, the two clans together. Well, since it turns out we're both following a true almighty sin of our own, I guess times when we uh, fight over those was wrong or right or ancient history now. Uh, but this may be the best path toward affecting the space we all need. Let us celebrate for today's dawn's a new day for those who live in Huissiri region. Well, now that we beat the story, we'll see if there's an end game at all. If there's like super hard optional fights or something. I guess we'll find out. Or if it's just completing the Pokedex. Wait. Wait a minute. We don't have Arceus yet. Credits! We did it! It's so strange they would call Pokemon Arceus, and Arceus isn't even in the game. Very strange indeed. I mean, he must be in there somewhere. There must be a post-game. I think we beat the tutorial. Now the real game begins. Now, is this where um, Breath of the Wild begins?
Who is the villain? Uh, we don't know yet. Obviously, something caused everything to go crazy. And some creature, some unknown creature at the beginning brought us here. I don't know what Pokemon that could possibly be. You think they put him on the game cover or something? This is Pokemon Go it would just be Pikachu wearing an Arceus hat. And that, that can't evolve, that's all I get. I'll be right back in just a couple minutes, guys. Wait, who's calling me? 
seek out all Pokemon. Chat, can you call him back and tell him that's a lot? There's a lot of Pokemon? Why don't he do it? He's a god. I'm just a person. I'm just one man. Good morning, Dan. Looks like Space Time Rift has vanished. The sky is back to normal again. Which I suppose means we better get back to original mission, clean the Pokedex. We're gonna meet the Survey Corps and discuss next step. See you there soon, Dan. Or will you? <laughs> And that's when he ran off into the night, never to be seen again. <laughs> so I trust you're, you enjoyed yourself at the festival. There was a festival? Sure did. Indeed. That only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night, the first time I've got a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Lav Lavington to business. What is current state of the progress of Pokedex? I dare say we made quite simple progress all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. There is a certain person's room that has been slacking and has been doing story missions instead of catching all of the Pokemon. I don't want to name names. But that one person's room has not finished the Pokedex, ma'am. Certain Pokemon have only mentioned history's legends, after all. Who knows if they're even real? How little we know about history's history and legends, it's harder for us to tackle. Pardon? Couldn't help it over here. If it's his and history legends you want, then I'm your man. Well, I have spent plenty of time studying uh, such things in instead of, ahem. I mean, while also tirelessly working for the Ginkgo Guild. But I've visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in history region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about Pokemon of Legend in these parts. Woohoo! Music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Dan. You're doing all you can for the merchant Volo and work together as needed for the sake of this, the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means and not really do anything. I just said I'll be at the Heights camp then. Dan, I'm expecting you. I have something I'd like to discuss with you, too. I hope you won't keep me waiting. Hale has ordered to sing a strange Pokemon in the corner of Highlands. Get my phone in the lab. A darksome nightmare. Dark cry. You're the one who set my quest? Well, let's get right to business. There's an old tale that's been told in the history region long does it. It's about a dark nightmare that visits people on lonely paths at night. I never really stuck it to myself, so I saw it. I saw a terrifying black Pokemon just like the one in the stories. I say people who are trapped in the nightmares of crates never wake again. We can't wait for someone to vi fall victim to it. We've, we've got to act for that can happen. I saw it near the um, clamber called Drip Cliffs, partly at Mount Coronet. And it was when I was walking alone at night, just like the old stories say. Careful if you go in search of it. I wouldn't want you to lose your life over this.
Let's go chat with a professor again. Damn it, boy. Let's say you take the Pokemon here in the lab with you on your excursions. Sure. So I'll get a chance to help you the server if you'd like any Pokemon. Especially one stuck in doors so long like mine. Cyndaquil. And Oshawott. Nice. I got the other starters. How goes surveying? We're getting along great here, as you can tell. Wait, what's happening to, to Bojin? <laughs> Bojin evolved. Finally, it became a Silcoon. A little longer, and it'll blossom into Beautifly. You, you can do it, Bojin. <laughs> Ask. Yes, I picked the grass starter, uh, the the owl, because he was so cute. But then he got not cute anymore. But he was cute for a while. Ma'am, I am going to release. Oh, no. Well, not yet. I'll hold off for now. Well, let's go see um, what Bolo has to say about the Pokemon of Legends. I forgot we got, got Palkia, didn't we? Ah, Palkia. We got the uh, lower defense, highest special attack one. Yep, he's Water Dragon. A little punchy. I just thought he'd be, he'd be a puncher. Oh, well. Did she get it? She got a speed nature, which is not bad. I'll take it. Damn, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. Good, long, close look, please. See the patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think they might be letters, uh, rather like hieroglyphs, if you, if you will. I've inspected the ruins across the region and have food. They all seem to sell, tell the same tale. They tell of a brave soul who, together with Pokemon on his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. A deity? Yes, an all-encompassing deity. The creator of this very universe. And its name is... George Arce Arceus. Perhaps you already heard this name. It does sound familiar. Of course, 
What else could I have expected from the hero who saved Pisui region? But now let's discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. That's the plates you collected as you went calling all the frenzy nobles. You notice they all have words carved on their backs. Go on, give them a read. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. The, this original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. What do you say, Dan? I think we should try to gather all the plates. <sighs> yes. I got just idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of the grueling grove. I want Arceus. All right, let's fly over there. We'll run though, just in case there's shinies. Cause I do want me some shinies. So if we got, we need to complete the Pokédex for like the ultimate super boss. I know, I have expected um, him to be like, and his name is John Cena! Now, Dan, according to my own investigations, Fuck! <laughs> what an alpha Vespa Vespa Queen? Terribly sorry, Dan, but you got to I think you could handle it. <laughs> yeah, I got this. That's fine. Well, I finally found a female. She puts the whoa in whoa, man. Okay, um. Try Roar Up. Now that might obliterate her. Try Dragon Pulse first. Well, we are pretty resistant to a lot of stuff. Diaga is very defensive. Try a little flash cannon. Uh, we beat the main, the first part of the story. Now we're in what, the post game that every Pokemon has. Where it's all about catching the Pokemans. I want to catch all legendaries. Got her! Oh my god. She's the queen bee. I have to call Lord until I fa tell her I actually found queen bee. You obtained the stone plate. Stone plate, power of rock type. Why did Alpha Pokemon have a plate we were looking for? Maybe it would just happen to find that plate lying around. Okay, it's the only plate that I had information about, so that's that. There's nothing seems to be happening, which says to me there might still be more plates left for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all the pla about the plates. Mistress Kagita? The one and only Mistress Kagita. Yes. You haven't had the chance to probably thank her for helping obtain the red chain, am I right? Well, the reason paid her a visit. All right, agent retreat. Well, let me look around for Pokemans first, sir. <laughs> that got took a little bit of a beating there. There's got to be a Pokemon of legend in here. Right? Little wa this little island looks special.
Wait a minute, I see a uh, arrow cross. Let's see if we can fool him into eating snacks. Run, 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 run! Got him! Second hair across ours. Looking around for another shiny. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, if there's ever a shiny on screen chat, what will happen is we'll hear a sound and then there'll be a sparkle that'll drop onto the Pokemon so that way you can see it quite clearly. I've only seen it happen one. Oh, an Alpha Shinx? Got a time kill this level six. Ultra Ball. One. Got him. Another alpha. Time you see his bite, nice. Just looking around for shinies. I love how I'm I'm making the god of time harvest berries for me. Like I'm the freaking god of time, sir. I am not farming berries. What do you think? What is this? Oh, Alpha Wormple. God of time, kill. It's dead. Normally I agree with the statement that he doesn't got time for that, but literally I think he has all the time for that. Got the alpha! Yay! Oh, Pichu. Let's see if our boy is shiny. Nope. Shiny alphas are gonna be like the thing that streamers are gonna farm for, mark my words. They're gonna be the, the constant resets are gonna be for people farming alpha shinies. And people are gonna do alpha shiny only runs and stuff like that. Another alpha wormple? Seems like the alpha rate has like skyrocketed in in post game. There's so many more alphas. Wait a minute. There's a lot of tabs there. Space for tabs on the right there. There's Oh no. There's enough room on the right there for one, two, three, maybe four more of those tabs. There's going to be more Pokédex, isn't there? Oh, shit. Oh, no.
Now the real question though is, if I beat the game, do I then become an Alpha Alpha Dan Pokemon? Yeah, there are definitely, there are so many more alphas out now. Like, their alphas were pretty rare before, but now there's alphas everywhere. Hey, look at that, even this Bidoof's alpha. So alphas become not rare anymore in post game. Interesting. Thousand bucks. I'll go back to the village, please. Wearing bread, loaves of bread for shoes. What? I had the dough for it. Choke outbreak. Oh my god, shiny machoke would be nuts. If we can get shiny machoke. Oh, so okay, ask me that again. Okay. Why do you, why are you wearing bread for shoes? That's on a need to know basis. To the left. Looks like on top of this hill. One of them is standing in a tree. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I don't think that that's supposed to happen. Gotta reset them. Oops. I fell in a hole. Okay, what's uh why am I still in combat? Try that again. Let's try that again. Hopefully, it saved in the middle of catching those things. Ba -da -da -da. 
that whistle sound. That's the damn whistle from Colin Things. I just recognized that. It took me like seven hours to realize it. Go back. Give them resets so I can capture them. Do I have any of that one stuff, the stealth field thing? Oh, you have to use it in here, that's why. Ooh, that stealth field is super OP, isn't it? Alpha. Okay, we need a smoke bomb in the center. So now it looks like alphas have a high chance to spawn in these outbreaks, which have the highest chance in the game to get, be a shiny. So farming these are going to be like the in-game try to get shiny alphas. That's going to be fun. If you're a shiny hunter, this is going to be the way to do it, is to find these outbreaks with the Pokemon you want. No. I would love a green Machoke. They're, he's a really cool shiny. That should get him. Yes. Got him. That is badass. Dun, dun, dun. Check on something real fast. Neat. All right, let's go back to camp. Uh, we wanna... So it seems like farming these outbreaks will be like the the way to get those shinies that we want. We also need to go talk to that lady and learn about, um, learn about, uh, the legendaries you need to catch. 
Ready for cross faction raids? That's gonna be interesting. I always find it weird and wild that like the world's about to end, but they're still fighting each other. The world and the alliance. Like, really? We can't all get along. I like how um, Elder Scrolls Online does it, where everyone can go in anyone's cities and stuff, but you can still PvP separately. Because not everyone that lives in a city... Not everyone lives in a city that, um... Not everyone, like, um, in a city is all, you know, supporting a war or not. You can probably find allies amongst the Alliance who like the Horde and vice versa. So it makes sense that not everyone would be against the horde and stuff. 